Hello everyone. May the good Lord bless you and guide you. In Jesus name. Happy New Year. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 says, No eye has seen, nor ear has heard, and no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. Amen. Today I want to speak to you about a secure future. In an increasingly insecure world, people are living in tension and anxiety. Horrified scenes of death and destruction can be seen every day. However, in such troubled times, the child of God can rest assured that our future is always secure in God's hands. In John, in the book of John chapter 14, the disciples of Jesus were troubled because he had hinted that he would be leaving them soon. John chapter 13, 31 to 38. Although they couldn't grasp all that Jesus meant, what they had was enough to get their stress levels to rise rapidly. In the midst of this scenario, the Lord highlighted the following powerful facts to bring reassurance to their troubled hearts. He was going to prepare a place for us, John 14, 2. When we take a journey, we generally like to have proper accommodation at our destination. If not, we may even postpone our trip for another day. How encouraging it is to know that the Lord has prepared a better place for us. The scriptures show us that it will be something beyond our present imagination and vision. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. Hallelujah. He's coming back for his children. John 14, 3. The second coming of Jesus is mentioned hundreds of times in the Bible. That's a lot of scripture, you know. Since Jesus has been true to all, his promises so far, we can be assured that he will be more than true to this one as well. When that great event takes place, he will receive us to himself to enjoy his blessings forever. Someone said, we do not look for the undertaker, but for the upper taker. Hallelujah. Let me describe this. It is said that the territory held by a famous general in the Second World War was overrun by enemy forces. As he departed with his soldiers, he made a promise to the people that he would come back to liberate them soon. The general, this is the, the, a human being promise. They hid on to that promise and true to this word, the general did return with his army to liberate the land from the opposing forces. Do you see, a man promises and he did what he promises. If a human general could fulfill his promise so effectively, how much more would the king of kings do so? Are you waiting in anticipation for the day in which the clouds will be rolled back and our Savior will appear in all his glory? Amen. He gives peace to our troubled hearts. John chapter 14, 27. God has promised to give us a peace that passes all understanding. Therefore, the Apostle Paul says, Do not be anxious about anything. Philippians 4, 6. The Lord Jesus himself told the disciples, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to, as the word gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. John chapter 14, 27. His peace will sustain us in this time that everywhere is shaking. Hallelujah. When we face with an unbearable tragedy, that involve untimely deaths in the family. We we don't know what to do. It brings somewhere heartbreak. And you feel that the whole world is shattered if you don't see that loved one again. Through the storm, through the night, led me on to the light. This is what I saw in one music I was listening to. 
He said, take my hand, precious Lord, lead me home. Let's remember that the Lord Jesus is coming back to take us to a prepared place. Till then, his peace and grace will sustain us. Let us pray this prayer. Let us pray. Lord, may your peace and the promise of your return sustain me in these troubled times. Sustain my subscribers. Sustain my friends, my family. In Jesus' name, amen. If you don't know Jesus in a personal way and would like to, you can start today by understanding your heart, bringing yourself to Jesus. Jesus can transform you from the inside out and he will be your anchor during times when life is shaky. His love is amazing. You can start by praying a prayer like this. Let us pray this prayer. If you want to give yourself to Christ, I'm calling you. Come and give yourself to Christ Jesus. He will save you. He will calm your troubled heart. Let us pray. Pray with me. Lord Jesus, I want to know you personally. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. I open the door of my life to you and ask you to come in as my Savior and Lord. Take control of my life. Thank you for forgiving my sins and giving me eternal life. Make me the kind of person you want me to be. In Jesus' name, amen. If you pray this prayer, I would love to hear from you. If you want to learn more about the Christian life, please connect with me. You can connect me with me by email and God will bless you the more. And I pray this year 2022, you will have long life. You will rejoice. Your work of your hand will always be blessed. In Jesus' name, amen.